Hi everybody, thank you for joining me with another maths lesson. So today we're looking at numbers to 50 again, but this time we're looking at the tens and ones. We've done this before with numbers to 10 and with numbers to 20, so we should be really good at this by now. But first we're just going to have a bit of a recap and a mental and oral starter. So I want you to pause the video and have a go at counting in your tens. Can you do it forwards and backwards? Then on the sheet, can you find each of these numbers? The number 20, the number 40, the number 16 and the number 26. Then can you find them, but this time they're in words, so you need to read the numbers carefully. Let's have a look at today's work. So we're going to be counting in the tens and then counting the ones. So we've got some birds in a tree here and each tree has 10 birds. So how many full trees of birds are there? How many lots of 10? There are three full trees. And then how many birds are along the bottom? There are four. So you've got three full trees, and so three tens and four more. Anybody know what three tens and four more makes? What number? Well done. If you said 34, there are 34 beds. Right, this time we're going to count how many straws there are. And each bundle of straws counts for a ten. So how many tens can you see? How many bundles of straws? Well done if you saw four bundles. And how many extra ones is there? Well done if you said three. You've got four, lots of ten, and three more. Does anyone know how many straws there are? Well done. You've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. So there are 43 straws. Right, 10 ones is equal to one lot of 10. So let's see how many there are. So remember we're counting tens and then you count the ones. So we've got one, two, three tens. And how many ones have we got? Well done if you said six. Anybody know what three tens and six ones makes? Thirty-six, and if you look, you literally put the three and the six next to each other to make your number. Right. So in base ten, when you see the big yellow sticks, they are each a ten. So you count them in your ten times tables. But if you see the little ones, you count those in ones. So we've got four tens and two ones, and we put the digits together. It makes the number forty-two. This time we've got three tens and two ones, so it makes the number 32. What's the state the same? The ones have stayed the same. Well done. And the last one we've got two tens and two ones to make 22. So what has changed each time? Well done if you said the tens. So the ones have stayed the same, but each time the tens have changed, haven't they? Okay, this time you are going to count the tens and ones for me. So have a look at this one. How many tens, how many ones? What number does it make? Fill in the gaps. Four tens and two ones. What number does that make? Put the digits together. 42. This time, what? how many tens are in this number? How many ones are in this number? There are four tens and three ones. So the answer is 43. 
What stayed the same this time? Well done, the tens have stayed the same, haven't they? And what's changed? The ones have changed, haven't they? And then the last one, fill in the gaps for me. You can pause the video for extra time. Four tens and four ones is 44. So what has changed in each number? 42, 43, 44. Yeah, the tens are the same, aren't they? But the ones are different this time. Well done if you spot the pattern. And here is today's worksheet. Exactly the same things. How many tens, how many ones? And then what is the number all together? First with apples in tens frames, then base ten. Then I'd like you to have a go at drawing the next two numbers. So draw your base ten, your tens and your ones. And then... The bottom one, the pictures are taken away, but it stays the same. You've just got to fill in the gaps. Have good luck, everybody.